Hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create this cute watercolor teddy bear in the app Iblis Paint X. So this is going to be a step by step tutorial, so don't skip the video anyway. First, I'm going to open a, a pastry canvas in my Iblis Paint X app. So first I will draw the rough sketch. So for that I'm going to use healthy pen hard brush and a symmetry tool. So I'm going to use this uh, mirror ruler for this and just going to draw the shape roughly uh, for uh, reference you can search for any teddy bear image from google or search in pinterest and you can get so many ideas related to that teddy bear and you can create your own shape based on the basic shape that we have like oval circle um, and square like that and to adjust the shape perfectly Instead of drawing more lines over, over, over and over uh, on that, you can use this liquify tool, more liquid uh, liquify tool. So like this, you can adjust the shape that we have already drawn to bulge somewhere and to flatten somewhere in the shape, so that we don't have to erase and redraw everything. So next, I'm going to draw the uh, mouth part here and for blush I'm drawing two circles here. So this is going to be cute cotton like uh, teddy bear and this is going to be watercolor so the details is going to be minimum. I'm now, I'm just drawing the basic shape details. So now I finished drawing the head and here I'm going to draw the body. So for for making the teddy bear cute as much as possible, I'm going to keep the head big and body small, uh, like almost uh, smaller than that of the head part, so that it looks more cute, uh, like a baby with face, you know, face look chubby and big and body small. So now, I'm going to draw the foot part like this. This you don't need to be have to you know, have to draw the perfect uh, circle like that. Just make multiple um, strokes. No, uh, no worries about this because we are going to delete that layer. Now I'm going to draw the reference sketch. For reference sketch, what I have to do is uh, reduce the opacity of the layer that we have already created for that sketch. And in this reference layer sketch layer I just renamed this as sketch and here I'm just making the single stroke cut based on the shape that we have already done so we are not going to add any excess shape details or um, much in this uh, layer just we're going to redraw this from the sketch we have added in it. also this layer is also not going to be visible in the final outcome so don't worry about that if you want to make it big make it big before making the artwork because making the artwork after finishing takes so much of time and uh, we have to I will come up upon the details as well, so do it before. Now, just make sure you use your drawing paper rough 3, um, you know, background, or you can if you simply try any watercolor background that you have. You start as a multiplayer blending mode. Now, just what you have to do is I just, you know, I forgot adding some details in the hair and on this hood so i'm going to uh, add those details now so here and yeah I don't think you understand what I'll go through Just to be in control of my life soon All the negativity, man, I'm immune I don't really need a mask with all I've been through I've been making changes for the ages Five, ten year plans are contagious I attack that shit, I'm tenacious And if you ain't 
Okay, now we made all the uh, changes we have to do. Now we can draw the watercolor. So for that, just create a new layer. In this layer, what you have to do is select the entire shape. So here we're not going to use the watercolor. Instead, we're going to fill the area where we have to draw with a uh, white color so that uh, normal white color not yet i'm not going to use any brush you can easily use the bucket tool or special fill tool so both work in the same way just select the areas entirely because this help when you save this as png and if you want to create a clipboard because if you're drawing just using the watercolor brush and saving that as PNG then when you when you see that and if you use that in the color different color background uh, the details changes um, according to the color of the background to avoid that so what you have to do is you can see I selected enter area now I'm just training this as base and I'm going to fill with white color because uh, this is going to act like base for our artwork wherever we can use that as a PNG JPG no worries you can use this in any color background so to avoid any issue related to that watercolor texture I'm just filling the shape with the white color now in the new layer I'm just training this as watercolor and I'm going to dark, uh, start uh, using the watercolor brush so here I'm using the watercolor edge brush I'm not going to use multiple brush in this artwork just keeping things as simple as possible just make big strokes also add some smooth stroke here and there to add that texture if you want to add some more in the shade in the same color just uh, raise the opacity or increase the opacity to get that look don't uh, use multiple color instead of keeping this one color and the i'm going to wish i have with you the major trick that i use to make the artwork more elegant without Mm, doing so much crosses and without using so much brush how can we um you know make it better to look but easy to make so now i just filled the entire shape with that color just remove the selection which is over at the bottom now i'm going to select only this part both the head so this is going to be in some other color so for this i'm not going to use any other brush over and over on this instead select this area and we have the filter called not this one just change drawing color just choose this and select the color that you want to apply if you don't have any particular color select a random color and adjust in this um color panel now once you're okay make you can make changes as much as you want once you're okay with that click on this so the ba uh, main advantage of this is that if there is any empty area it will not be affected by the color change that we are making using that filter so only where there is uh, art details there the color changes will happen and in the empty area it will be same as it is empty so now in the same way i am going to select these areas so wherever you use the same color just select those areas so at the airport uh, and here on the left and in the body part so select these areas and make sure you select without leaving any space more space like this 
now go to that color changing uh, color change drawing color tool and change the color like this same procedure again and again just choose the area and choose the color that you want so this area is going to be something like a yeah, pink color okay now go to that filter change drawing color choose the color this is too much of pink i don't want this going for the light color yeah, this looks good now you can check without the sketch as well and sometimes we make mistake like just choose all these areas and when you go to that filter and use that filter you can think like nothing is changing that may be because you are on the wrong layer you can be on the empty layer or some other layer and we're trying to do that that's the mistake we always do when you're in the hurry so make sure which area uh, which layer you are in so only uh, the th changes will have happen only on the area uh, layer that we are present in so now for the nose and eyes i'm going to use the fill tip and hard brush and just fill the area with white uh, black color and for the eyes i'm going to add a small dot using the white color I got all this potential that's deep inside of me But they hate when you're successful cause they try to be They sit there being just mental because you're trying things And they just want you to settle and do the right thing So get a good job, don't slack off Wake up every morning, make a good impression on your boss Don't do anything that yeah, I would no, do Yeah, no, it is better money, We have to add some so details at, at the forehead part So I am using the healthy pin hard crush again just make these strokes like this okay but you can see it is like same color here like the uh, hand and foot is almost like much to avoid that issue just create a clipping layer with multiply blending mode use the fill tip and hard brush and make stroke like this so at one side it going to be hard like hard edge and inside the hand in that area uh, in that side i'm going to use the watercolor water brush to blend like this so by doing this you can see uh like the uh, real difference like to before it was like and and the foot is merged and now you can see a separate if you're not satisfied again make almost two and blend with me like this okay in the same way i'm going to do for the right side as well Just using the watercolor bleed trash to add a little more darkness here it's to avoid uh, having everything of like a neutral color. Just you can add a little bit of darkness here and there. If you feel it is too dark, I just using the watercolor water brush blend it with. You know, here yeah. I want to make it a little bit darker. So, using the watercolor water brush, I'm going to. I got all this potential that's deep inside of me But they hate when you're successful cause they try to be They sit there being a shield because you're trying things And they just want you to settle and do the right thing So get a good job, just make don't sign the strokes Wake up every morning, make a good impression on your boss Don't do anything that I wouldn't do And when you make your money, make sure you don't spend it too soon <laughs> Abel knows I'll do what I wanna do I got a different path from everyone and that includes you 
so well. So I'm going to add a small white color details here and there to make it more realistic. Like this. And same process once again. Instead of keeping it as my uh, you know, pure white, I'm going for some you know off white color like this. Now you can see some small details and here stop using the any other brush just use the fill tip and hard brush make perfect too keep it hard at one side and blend at the top side right now it is perfect also i'm going to add here looks perfect so i'm going to say this as transparent png and here is the transparent png darkness that's because i use the white background and if you go for normal jpg image then it looks like this and i hope you like this watercolor tutorial if you want more watercolor tutorial tell me in the comments below thank you for watching subscribe to my channel